We're just over 8,000 now, Steve. We've sold into over 55 countries, different countries around the world. No, because I know it works. We haven't had enough stock. Came from years of teaching and trying to find a way of communicating feel to my pupil. It took me, we're now in our 18th year since I first discovered it. I discovered it from a tip that I got when I was fishing on a river from my ghillie. He gave me a simple tip that transformed my casting within two minutes. It's getting it out there now, getting it into as many people's hands as we, as we can to understand the golf swing better, simply. Golf's essential move. This is what 90%, probably 95% of golfers think that the club moves this way in the golf swing. It goes straight back and straight through. So the, so the club goes that way and that way. But in actual fact, the club as it goes back rotates and as it goes forward it rotates and it creates its own momentum. And that's what good players do. So they're opening going back, closing coming through and that just creates momentum. And that's what good players do. And that's what the gem does. And that's, that's exactly what the, what the gem does. When you attach the gem, it moves it to that position, that position, to that position. Fraser, how are you doing? Great. You well? Great, Steve, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Great to, great to see, see you see again. You again. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, can't it's believe it's just over a year ago. It's been a while. Um, the gem. The gem. That's why we're here. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? How's yeah. things going? So, did a video, I can't remember when it was, probably over a year ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here at Cordrona, which was great, up on the third tee. Um, and you just recently come out to me and said, Steve, I've got the gem, um, my new training aid, what do you think? Um, and from there, what's happened? Well, we've, we've, we've had an unbelievable response, mm -hmm. Steve. The, uh, we've now sold worldwide over 8,000 units. Right. Which is 8,000, wow. 8, 8, so we now have uh, 8,000 people uh, that are using it every day. Worldwide? Worldwide, yeah. We've sold Incredible. into 57 different countries around Superb. the world now. Is there one uh, country that's more popular? Yeah, we've, 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 uh, America has been amazing. Right. And, and uh, the, it, it took us by surprise because our initial first, uh, our first consignment of a thousand units, we sold them within a week. Right. So, so we we have then uh, improved all the time, learned from uh, our experiences. Absolutely. Not from our mistakes, because we had the the best mistake ever is we ran out of stock. Right. But we're now right on top of that. We have we have two factories making uh, our components, which are absolutely still made in Scotland. It's brilliant, and you can see that the actual units advanced as it's gone. The website's advanced as it's gone, so everything's growing. It was great initially, obviously, to sell that thousand straight away. Yeah, yeah. And then to yeah. have no stock, as you say, what a fantastic problem to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, it 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 has been it has been amazing. What we've what we've been doing is is if if people looked at our our website just over a year ago when we launched, and look at it now, we're on our fourth different website. Right. Okay. Our, our fourth version of the of the same website. We've we've. We've tried to answer as many questions as we as we can from the feedback that we've that we've got, yep. uh, and also the, the the thing that that has been amazing is the fact that we do a thirty day money back guarantee. Yeah, we we have we have one percent returned okay. from people who don't understand it. Right. We we feel and we've tried to cover all their questions. In, in, uh, on our website. And the website covers it very well. There's videos on there, there's your Q&A on there, and it's so interactive as well. I mean, that 1%, 1% is very low. Yeah. So that's a yeah. very good um, return yeah. rate, if you like. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So let's, let's, let's swing a few gems, shall we? Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's see how well, we're going. It's, it's, it's again, I want to try and uh, get the, the most out of the gem. And every time you play golf, what I recommend that, that, that all golfers should do is fit it onto one of their irons and then they just spend two or three minutes just swinging nice and slowly just yep. to get their muscles activated, just to get their, their wrists working. And, and it's not about the speed of the swing, it's the position. It's setting that, the classic, what I call the classic toe-up position. Yep. And then the club then comes back to the ball 
with the with the weighting system and then it continues through into the toe up the toe up position in the in the follow through and it's basically this movement here if you can learn to get the club in the correct position you'll find your mechanics of your joints your mechanics of your elbow yep. your mechanics of your wrist your wrist hinge will be perfect mm -hmm. and and again what we've done is if it's not perfect what do you feel what what you will feel is you will feel pressure from the weight on your wrist and you'll have to grip the club tighter. So you can visually see there that that's no yeah. longer underneath the shaft. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I, th I think it's it's also what we've the feedback that we've had. We've had the feedback about what what people say the wobble when 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 they Correct. swing, and the wobble is basically when you swing down, you get the weight in front of the hitting position, okay. and then you feel the club flipping over. Quite aggressive, and, handsy. Yes. Yep. And and it's it's the flip. It's a fast turnover, and it's basically what you haven't been able to do in your swing. You haven't got the correct sequence of the swing through the ball. And the gem and gives you, what, how does that sequence work with the gem then? So is there body involved in there? Yes, how, the, 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 it's what some people think, it's just about how you move your wrists, yep. but it's not. It's, it's, a, it's a continual turning of the body, and if you get the club moving in this way, it encourages the correct body movement. Okay. That's, that's a sort of simple breakdown of, of the importance. And that's backswing and through? Backswing and through swing. Yep. And sort of breaking it down in the backswing, as the club goes back slowly, as the club goes back slowly, then you'll gradually find your wrist cocking, you'll gradually find your right elbow going into your side. Yep then as you swing down, you'll feel the club wanting to turn, your right arm becomes straighter, then just after impact, your right arm becomes much straighter and you get a good extension through the ball mm -hmm. and you get into the toe up position in the, in the follow through. Bodies turn to get there. So how does, so you've got the longest rod on there, there's a couple of rods that comes with it, yeah. so you've got the long rod yeah. on. Yeah. So your average yeah. golfer, your um, Johnny, who plays off 24, yep. bought himself a gem. Where does he start? Yeah, he starts with, with the long one. rod. That's okay. starts with the long rod. So you get the you get the long rod attached so that it's lined up parallel with the leaning edge of the of the of the club face. Yep. And then you just get comfortable in moving the club into the toe up position. So you can see there it's wanting to sit in, in, in that position. So Incredible, if you can that. get to that position at waist height, yep. when the club is parallel with the ground, you're in a great position to be able to hit a good shot. Right. Because to get to that position there, you still have the club, what we call square, ah, okay. in relation to your yep. to your stance. And again, if I'm if I'm looking that way, the idea is that right, Steve? Yep. There. Yep. That position there. So I turn around and That's put it. the club down, and the club has the correct loft at impact. Fantastic. And what you often find is what I often find with students that slice the ball, they will tend to close the club face going back the way. Yeah. And then as they come down to hit the ball, the club face must open up. And then that's when they get yeah. either too little loft, you get a low cut to the right, or you get the club face closed and you get a pull to the left. Yeah. So what this basically does from a straight on view, from yep. a straight on angle, mm -hmm. you can see the club face there. Whereas if it goes back closed, you won't see the club face. And what is closed, that is when the... Yeah. So the correct position there, just for this camera here, the correct position there is gem underneath the shaft. Yeah. 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 So that inertia, that is manipulated by the player. That's wrong. Just let it happen. Yeah. Let, that, let, let. Absolutely. So a lot of guys have given me feedback because yeah. obviously I've um, done yeah, some coaching with it. the gem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And they've felt as though... The feedback I've heard, or what people have said, is yeah. it feels like it swings the golf club itself. Yes. And I thought, that's that's brilliant. And the first video I ever did, it felt as though it swung the golf club yeah. itself. Yeah. But then the wobble that we talked about earlier, I felt as though the way for me and my pupils to get rid of the wobble was from here, was to incorporate, was to ensure that the body turned as well. Yeah. But in a slow motion action. Yeah. Does that, yeah. Is that yeah. right? So if somebody's yeah. starting off, well, they take 10 swings, do they do it yeah. slow, do they do yeah. it fast? Yeah. So, so what I'm, I, I stress with, 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 with our students, this isn't a speed tool. No, right, this that's, that's what I'm trying to this ask. This is, yeah, yeah. so that's, that, that's, and it's a question we often get a, a asked. Yep. Because 
the, the, what this is, this is trying to give you the correct movement, the basic correct movement in the swing. Okay. The, the essential move, the crucial move in the, in the golf swing. Golf Because if, if you can master this move, and you'll often see top players and they'll be standing and this is what they do with their right hand. Yeah. It's just a, that is the club face. That is the club face, club face, club face. The club face doesn't go this way yep. and this way. No. The club face goes this way. So you can throw, you can throw the club head through towards the target. Yep. And this is what the gem, the gem does. It completely alters the balance of the club because if you have a club that doesn't have the gem attached, it'll sit in that position. Yep. So you start off in this position when you address the ball, you take it back to waist height. There, there, there is the, the two different positions. Yeah, so that there wants to rotate around its axis. Yeah. And yeah. this here has set itself in the position that the player needs to be in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. is, as you say, golf's essential move. Yeah. Is yeah. getting it from there to there, but yeah. structured through body turn. And, it, and it's the mechanics. Yeah. It's, it's, we, we talk about mechanics. It's, it's, it's how your body is made up, how your, how your elbow hinges, how your, your shoulder, your, your shoulder's a ball. It's mm -hmm. a, it's a ball rotating. Ball socket, yep. It's a, it's a ball socket. It's a, it's a rotation. And what happens with the gem, it makes you rotate correctly. Yeah, naturally. So your ball and socket joints work in there. Yeah. Your right elbow's staying flexed and having a connection with your right hip or right side. Yeah. Whereas you do, you see a lot of Correct. That going on. Yeah. That's, I mean, yeah. you just turn yeah. that round to where the gem should yeah. be. This is yeah. in here, yeah. and you're in that essential now, move. Is going to start. The, the 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 modern player, the great players, have started off playing at the age of three, four years of age. Yep. Then they've spent up to the age of 16, 17, 18. So they've spent maybe 13 years just hitting the ball without thinking. Yep. And then they go to college and they spend four years at college learning more about, about the golf swing. Mm -hmm. But by the time they get to college, they're great players anyway. Yeah. And what the coaches nowadays tend to get them to do is to have one miss. They can only miss it to the yep. right. Yep. So, so, so the, the end thing at the moment is to teach the players to have the club face slightly what we call the club shaft slightly outside. Uh -huh. And the club face is slightly hooded. Yep. and you always swing slightly to the left, so you're holding the shot coming through. Yep. Now that's okay if you're 18, 25 year old that trains seven days a week super and is super fit. strong. Super. But as you, get, as you get older and less flexible, yep. then your mechanics have to be better. Yep. And speed comes from your wrists. Mm -hmm. Speed comes from being able to unload the club correctly into the ball on the correct line, the correct angle of attack. That's important, the unload. Yeah. chat there is important yeah. because yeah. you've loaded yeah. so, the, so the gem it's not it's not just something to release it's it's it's, it's loading the power as yeah. we talked about from the ball and socket joint the right elbow speaking to right hip it's set the club that's loaded power there yeah your angle between yeah. club shaft and four or, eight or trail arm is set in place and you'll continue back down then that power is unleashed but they're still stressing the shaft yes all the way yes. through yes so that's, I, I get that yes. I totally get that you're young kids who are more flexible than you and I yeah, clearly. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. <laughs> um, working more on mechanics as you get older is, is has to be an advantage, and the gems helping that. Yes, yes, absolutely. I remember listening to Roger Federer tennis. Yeah, yeah, getting yeah. older and older, can't yeah. keep up with the rest of them. So he would lose weight to maintain his speed around the course. Yeah, and that's a similar sort of idea. Yeah. So we're not going to be as fe flexible and fit as we go on. Yeah. But if we make our mechanics our internal or our, 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 our mechanics that we can produce with the golf club more productive through the gym, that's a win. Yeah. A massive win. Yeah, yeah. So and, you, I, and, 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 and yes, it is, it's, but it's understanding how the club moves. Yes. Everybody works on driving with their hips, mm -hmm. pulling their left hip back, pulling their left shoulder out so that they can release through at the, at the target. But unless you have the correct movement of the club from waist height to waist height, what you do with your body doesn't really matter. No because your sequence will not be correct. Yeah, and I think one of the things that, that, that I try to stress is if you can master the shorter swing, the shorter shots in the correct sequence, you'll learn to hit the ball much more solid. Aye. You'll hit it much more consistently. And the biggest thing of the lot is your miss to the right will be less. Aye. 
You won't miss it so far to the right. Brilliant. And you won't miss it so far to the, to the, to the left. Let's hit yeah. a couple. Okay. Let's, um, so, so you what, take what, a few swings. Let's, let's do ten swings with the longer yep. rod, and then we'll do ten swings with the shorter. Let me hit a couple of balls. And then we'll right. do ten swings with the right. shorter rod, right. because I believe you add a little bit more speed with the shorter rod. Is yeah. That right? Yeah. So, so, so this is this is what I do. I, I, I'll do every day. I do every day anyway. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on you just when I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you that. Yeah. Because what I do is I, I when I go to the range, I do my I do my 15, 20, 30 swings. I do it in the house. Uh, I, I've obviously because because I I, I have uh, an adequate supply now in the house. I've got them to street One in every room. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So if, <laughs> so if I can't sleep at night, I get up and master the 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 gem move in my in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just getting getting the feel of the club. The club. I can shut yeah. my eyes, and it's it's quite. It sounds really yeah, no, it's really good, strange. Like I like to shut my eyes. And then swing it so that I don't feel any wobble. Yeah, absolutely. Because so you've, you've shut off one of your senses, your sight's gone. Yeah. And it's now all feel. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, and then all, all I do uh, is I just unscrew it, and then I have the feel anyway from my from my 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 wrist, and then I just warm up by hitting that position, and then yeah. just just with the. Just with it attached, right. and I tend to hit a lot of three-quarter shots. Just working on correct position, correct position, correct position. Fantastic. And once I master that, then I'm off and running. It must and be hard to lose the ball to the right once you've mastered that. Well, it's just because it's, you're hitting that. It's it's more forehand in tennis than it is drop shot. You know, it's to lose a ball to the right is going to be tough work. L losing it to the right again, having been having been a, a qualified PGA coach for over forty years, yep. ninety percent of your lessons are to stop people slicing it. Absolutely. And then it's it's been it's it's trying to explain what you what where is the club face at impact? The club face is open. The club face is looking to the right. So then to make it go straighter, I must make my swing path go to the left. Yeah, that's right. So 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 we then have the. The out to in wipe, cut across. Yep. It's like a it's like a, a table tennis shot. It's like yeah. a a drop shot in tennis. Just yep. exactly what 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 you said. So what I I get the the feeling of right away is I get the club parallel with my my feet on the ground, meaning that the, the club at waist height is pointing right towards my target. If I want to hit a straight shot, if I want to hit a right to left shot. And in other words, a draw, I get the club a little bit more behind me. Yep. And then if I want to hit a, a fade, I get the club in, in front of me. Mm -hmm. But the big thing about this, about the gem, it moves you into neutral. Yes. It's not It's not a fading position. Mm -hmm. It's not a drawing position. Uh, it's a neutral position. It's the position. And and it's and, and again, I've because I've I've done so much coaching and I've also done I've I've been a player all my life as well. I still play. To, to a high level, yep. uh, and I do that because I hit the ball correctly. Yeah. I hit the ball solid every Absolutely. single time. There's no, there's no wipe there. It's, no, it is square. And, the, and and it's all to. So, so some people say to me, "Well, you were lucky. You were you were you were born a good golfer." Mm -hmm. But there's not such a thing. No. It's it's the thing is you can become a good golfer yep. by understanding the 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 vital parts of the of the golf swing. Absolutely. Grip. That, 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 that is, the grip is what you do before you hit the ball. Your posture is what you do before you hit the ball. Your lineup is what you do before you hit the ball. So if you do all these things correctly before you hit a ball, then it's a question of, right, let's get into the correct position in the first three or four feet of the yeah. backswing. And once you're in this position here, the club then goes behind you. Mm -hmm. You can't see it. Yep. You've no idea where it, where it, right. where, no where, where, yeah, where it's going. Of course. But what, what the gem does... It's by visual. Now, now again, if I, if I can just jump forward mm -hmm. with the, 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 the smaller gem, the, the smaller gem doesn't make the club twist as much through impact. Not quite as aggressive, not quite as pronounced. It's not, it's not quite as pronounced. And what I like to do with it, I like to use it as my slightly faster swing. Okay, right. So, 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 so that I'm releasing faster through the ball because the club doesn't tend to wobble as much, yep. but I can still feel it if I get 
too far in front. If we John off 24 yep. buys his gem and he feels wobble with that, should he go into the short one? Or should he hang off until he's lost the wobble? I think he can, I, th I, I, I would say keep using the longer one. Yes. Keep using the longer one. <clears throat> but the longer one is also for good players. Right. What it will do for good players, the longer one, it will help to get them into a higher follow through position. Right, okay. And, and that, by getting it into what I call a correct higher follow through position, it's better for the back. Yep. It's better for the whole body. The mechanics are better. Because if you're a, 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 an older golfer or a less abled golfer or a higher handicap golfer, when you swing fast through the ball, if you move into the wrong position, yeah, yeah. you put so much strain on your lower back and your right hip that you can really hurt yourself. Absolutely. Because I've, I've, I've done it myself by trying to hit the ball too hard. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically what, what the gem will do it will help you to move into a better position. And again, we've had great feedback from people saying that they don't hurt themselves now mm -hmm. after the round of golf. Brilliant. Because a lot of people, once they've played 18 holes, they come in and say, oh, I can't play tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But with the gem and getting the mechanics correct, you're because you're body. moving with the club mm -hmm. instead of against it. Yep. So that is a plus, a plus Let's in a itself. Let's take a couple balls. Let's take a couple of practice okay. with your shorter rod. So, so, so the shorter rod, I like to feel... So I that. can be a little bit faster. See that, yep. Because because the club. So this is what I use. I do I do my 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 big rod all the time. I use a small rod. Just when I'm I'm going to be hitting longer shots again. Just do my pre-shot routine. Checking the posi the the position. And then. <laughs> Easy. It's it's it's. It's, it's dead easy, it's easy because I'm on plane, yep. on plane, and my sequence of impact is correct. Mm -hmm. My hands, if, you've, if, you, if you've, you've got this videoed, you would see my hands are slightly in front of the ball yep. at impact. But then as you come through, you would see the club turning, Release, coming, coming yep. through. I think for me, the most important thing, there's, there's lots of important aspects to it, and it works on takeaway, setting the golf club, down into impact or pre-impact, body rotation, release, post-impact, higher hands, um, how it helps your body. But I think uh, talking about the takeaway situation and how going back to your shoulder joint and your right elbow, that connection there, which a lot of people try to get into, I feel as though with the gem... Gem puts you in that position. Well, it puts you in that position, but it maintains that position on the way down as well. Yeah. You know, you don't get that yeah. disconnection yeah. with your gem yeah. sticking out. I think that yeah. is vital. Yeah. yeah. And some people have mentioned that, they talk about how it's really improved their downswing. And a lot of people haven't quite got that, but I think you've touched on that very well today, how that connection's in there. We talked about Hogan in the past, we've yeah. had chats about that. Yeah, yeah. But that's brilliant. Yeah, I think, I think the, thing, the thing about it is that anybody who is standing without a golf club in their hand, if, if they do the shake hands position, yep. and if they even draw uh, an eye in the middle of your hand, yep. the palm of your hand, what you're looking for is at impact, your eye is looking at your, at target. your target. Mm -hmm. When you take the club back, your eye at waist height is looking straight, straight away from you. Yep. And then it's just a question of you're trying to get it back and square. But if you go to this position where yeah. your eye is pointing down the way, Absolutely. But the thing then is, you have to go... Unless, you you've, have, ex unless you've experienced the gem, you, you don't know how that feels. So that, that is the norm. That's yeah. that's what some of these normally do. Yeah. Once the yeah. gem sets you in the position, yeah. it naturally takes you there. So all of a sudden, this yeah. right elbow comes in there. So it's as you say, it's set you already. Yeah, it's absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Let's well, get it's, a couple more. It's it's so so yeah, uh, absolutely. So I was just going to just just show you what I do. This is what I originally uh, came up with was okay. the short rod, and this is how I like to use it. I like to use it for from a short game, but you can use it. With hitting a driver, every every club in the bag. This is what I like to to do when I'm doing a a, a good a good range session. Yep. Uh, is to get myself straight away muscle memory. Is this is the other bit that I think is important for people to understand? Is that to play good golf all the time? You have to hit balls every day, uh. or when when you can fit it in. Yep. And, and that is the thing about the gem. The gem, you don't need to go to the range. You can have it in your in your house, you can have it in your garage. You can you can walk down the street walking your dog 
and just move it around. Aye, that's good. And 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 Freddie just couples used to do that, didn't Fred? Couples walk down the fairway. Yeah, swimming yeah, like this, yeah, feeling yeah, where he was yeah. going to be. Yeah, yeah. You'll 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 see a lot of of players waiting to tee off uh, on a on a hole that the guys are on down still down the fairway, and they'll be standing just swinging the club this way. Yep. They, they won't be swinging it <laughs> we'll that not, way we'll and that way. <laughs> they'll 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 be swinging it this way because that's how your mechanics work. Yep, that's absolutely. how, and it, and it's the sort of thing that that everybody ninety nine point or, or everybody has the same. We're all slightly different proportion, mm-hmm. or sorry, we're the same proportion but different heights. That's yep, what I, that's absolutely. what I was trying to yep. trying to mean. But this one here is the one that I use the most. Mm-hmm. Because I'm working on because this weighs so little, it's it's aluminium, mm-hmm. it's strong and light, and so, when, g- so that's in line with the leading edge. So when you yeah. see that there's that, so that's a visual aid as opposed to a feel. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So 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 so, you so that you if, can't if, shut your eyes with that. If, and feel it. You can't shut your eyes. So again, and it's simple to, to so, see yeah, that. So go. so so if if I if I let go of the club, it wants to go toe down. Yeah. And again, if you take the club, if you take the club back, the club wants to go toe down. Yeah. So it's not helping you. That's no. what I always kind of. Yep. So, so, so the good players. That's why. That's why han- handicap golfers find it very hard to understand how the club moves correctly in the mm-hmm. backswing. Yep. Because as soon as you take the club away from the ball, the club wants to do that. Yep. The club wants to close. So you hit balls with that on. Yeah. Let's see how you. Yeah. So if you're on the practice range, I'm not here. You're about to tee off. So, so, so what I do, Steve, is. I like to just do this with with all my clubs is just get myself into this position and the more I rehearse that position the less strain I have to put on the grip mm-hmm. if I go a little bit what I call hooded yep. you can see see what's happening yeah, my right hand's coming off the off the club and my then you can see my you see my wrist now is going this way yep. whereas in 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 the correct rotation in the backswing then my my, my, my hands are not moving on the club at all and then from there I'm in a position to be able to set yep. to, to, set, to, to get the correct wrist hinge yep. wrist cock whatever whatever you want to call it and from there the club will unwind correctly through the ball so so I use this as a visual thing if I get it that the, that, that the club face is closed I can look at the ball but I can see out my peripheral vision where this is yep. and if it's in front then my right arm becomes too straight. Yep. I get a, 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 an arch in my my, mm-hmm. my my wrist. If it's going too much this way, I'll tend to get cupped. this position. Yep. I'll get cupped, and the club face becomes becomes open. Yep. So what I'm trying to do is set the club in this position so that it's straight my straight head. up and down, and what I call the neutral position. So if I go to there, yep. turn around, yeah, put thing. the club down. The club is absolutely square, mm-hmm. so that I, my dynamic loft at impact is the correct loft that's set on the on the on, on the club. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, sure. You leave, you leave that on there as you hit it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 it is the and you only can do this one. with driver. You can do it with driver. Aye. Can do it. Right. Can, can do it with driver. You were going to say so that is the only rod that you can hit balls. Yes. With. Yes. And and because there's no weight. Again, if, 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 every now and again we get we get an email uh, saying that we've sent them a faulty part because okay. it doesn't have. We can't screw the ball onto there, yeah, but there is a simple reason for that: is we don't want you to screw, to, ball. To, to, to screw the ball on, on onto there because this is the one that you can hit shots with, right. and this is the one that, that again. So I've got I don't know what this is a, a five iron here, and it's it's a hard shot to actually play, but it's a shot I practice quite a lot. Just little three quarter shots with my with my five iron, yep. and all I'm working on there is setting the club, Aye. setting the club. And, you, and did, did, did you hear it made a slightly different noise? Yes. So that noise is the vibration yeah. up, up, up the, the it's, a, it's a hollow tube. Yep. And that's the, the clunk, the vibration. So uh, once, once you've mastered, let's, let's imagine we're great with this and we're yeah. getting better with that. Yeah. So we've got the feel for those two and then we take those feels into the visual. So you can gradually build yeah. away from the long rod Add speed to the shorter rod for for more feel, and then you can use the smallest rod on the top for purely visual. Yeah. So you can build your yeah. whole swing from yeah. there. Brilliant. Yeah. Let's have a yeah. couple more before we finish. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I would say with this, it's for me the, the the biggest thing with this is also hitting hitting wedges 
It's a great, yeah, it's a great tool for for hitting wedges. You want that loft correct impact. You want have you want to have the correct loft at, at impact, but it also with wedges, it also helps you to get the correct bounce. Yes. And and I would kind of say ninety five percent of golfers don't understand what bounce is, yep. and people often say, oh, use the bounce on your wedge, use the bounce, mm -hmm. and they, and they don't understand what it actually is. And as, as you've probably explained it in some of your videos, Steve, the bounce is the back of the wedge. Yep. How and you utilize that. If if you take the club back and you have the club face closed, then you lose all the bounce. You have no bounce. So that's why most most handicapped golfers never hit a sand wedge. We never chip with a sand wedge. Struggle with that third shot, don't they? Yep. Whereas if if the if you put it onto your onto your wedge, then it becomes this position here. So when you're hitting you're hitting wedges from this position here, it's very easy to hit to hit the wedge. Yeah because the bounce helps the ball uh, helps the ball away and you see what I did there I stopped and I still stopped hit the ball up. yeah so yeah. You, you got your, you, you got your position and again water. that's just I just from through there. from from there again just let it go yep and it's it's very very easy to to hit the ball brilliant excellent Fraser thanks very much good no good no pleasure absolute pleasure excellent well pleasure done. great no cuz i know it works <laughs> <laughs>